Hey guys, OJ Albine here, bringing you guys our BBL Week 4 battle against Pat Mac and his Sacramento Sand Slash. Pat Mac's a cool dude. Uh, I actually sort of watched his content recently when I was doing like the rankings and stuff like that for um, like the CGT list they had for the top 25 draft league players. And I was actually pretty impressed. He's a very solid player. Um, really cool dude. Definitely go check him out in the description below as well as all the other BBL coaches. And if you, bleh, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you helped us out on our goal to 700 and uh yeah with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the team builder portion of the video if you wanted to skip ahead to the battle there's a timestamp on the screen right now as well as in the description below on when that starts and uh yeah without further ado let's do it so our team if you did forget consists of palkia tapu koko ferrothorn urshifu single strike gengar seismitone licky licky uxi entei and reggie lecky while our opponent's team is at the bottom of the screen and it consists of cinderace which can be libero um, and probably should be Libro. Uh, Blaze Cinderace, while well, it's a great Pokemon, Libro's a little bit better. Uh, but Cinderace, Landris Therian, Keldeo, Grimmsnarl, Vikavolt, Stack Attacka, Miltank, uh, Dragalge, Cloyster, the Lorantis, and Lugia. Now, biggest threats to me, this is a, this is actually a pretty even matchup, which is, which is great, because I've definitely, especially in ABA, I feel like I've had mono bad matchups. But this one, there's things that are really scary for me, and there are things that are really scary for him, so I'm looking forward to the team that we have. Uh, but... Libero Cinderace is one of the things that's really scary to us. Now, while we do have typically good checks to physically offensive mons like that in, like, Seismitoad and potentially Uxie and things like that, Libero makes it a lot harder to deal with because getting Stab U-Turn instead of just clicking U-Turn in general is going to make it a lot easier to wear us down, put us in range of either Powerball, High Jump Kick, or another U-Turn, stuff like that. So that's something to keep in mind. Obviously, got to be very, very careful of that. Uh, Landris, I don't have a Ground Resist. <laughs> I got Double double Electric, no Ground Resist. Uh, we have a couple of Immunities, but uh, our Immunity actually does not appreciate getting U-Turned on. And uh, everything on our el else on our team really doesn't appreciate a Landris, so we're going to have to be very careful about that. Keldeo offensively not the best versus me, but I think a subtoxic variant, like subtoxic stabs, could actually be very solid versus me, very annoying for me to deal with. Um, Grimmsnarl, decent, not the best versus me in my personal opinion. Vikavolt, uh, we just lost because of a charge bug last week, and you're going to see that obviously influences our prep this week, uh, because we're playing the evolution, which also can set up webs and ruin our day. So we have to ensure the webs aren't on the field, or we do kind of lose this game. Stack Attack and Mill Tank, Dracology, all things I'm not super worried about. Um, Cloyster is something I'm very worried about. I definitely do not deal with a Shell Smash and Cloyster very well. I had to construct my team in a way that I have nothing that allows it to set up. Um, so you're going to see that's obviously what we did here in this matchup. Or at least nothing allows it to set up to as good of a degree as I can possibly make it. But that's going to be, uh, Cloyster is definitely a big threat. And then Lugia, like a Calm Mining Lugia can always be very scary. Uh, you can bet your ass we got a lot of Toxic on the team to potentially stop that thing from really dealing with us. Uh, but Luke is always a big, big threat, especially if he gets set up and put in the right position. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, let's jump into our first mom, which is Tapu Koko, rocking out the Heavy Duty Boots. Electric Service as his ability, obviously. Thunderbolt, U-Turn, Dazzling Glam, and Defog. EV so has he got 156 HP, 180 Special Attack, and 172 Speed with the Timid Nature. Um, as much as I really wanted Roost, I felt U-Turn was very, very important to have because, again, I don't deal with Landers very well defensively, so if I let him in for free, which Coco can tend to do, it's definitely going to chew up Dazzling Flames, especially if he feed correctly. Um, I want to be able to catch that thing with a U-Turn, and I definitely need Defog. Not everything on my team is wearing boots, and I don't want to be uh, really bullied by boot, uh, webs again, which I think this team is very likely to do. Obviously, we saw last week when we under prepped for it with Charge Bug. want to make sure that I have those, um, have a way of getting rid of those, and with our boots, we're not going to be slower than things because of the webs if they do go up, which I think is very important. EVs wise, we have enough speed for Cinderace. We Oko a Keldeo, and then we have the rest of our HP. We soft check things like Keldeo. We soft check things like, um, I guess, like a non blue suit cloister or a uh, Lugia and things like that. But even then, this thing's main goal is going to be to defog U turn and then maybe revenge a weekend Cinderace or something like that, which I think could be very, very important. And uh, yeah. That's going to be our Coco. Next up, we have our Palkia rocking out the leftovers. Pressure has its ability. Spatial Rinse, Surf, Toxic, and Protect. Eevee has got 132 HP, 4 Defense, 192 Special Attack, and 180 Speed with Timid Nature. Eevee's Wise are creeping a max speed Landris. You live a banded high jump kick from Cinderace. And then we have the rest in our special attack. Do as much damage to him as possible. This Pokemon, again, I love Toxic Kapalkia. I think it's very, very solid, especially in this matchup. My opponent really doesn't deal with it. He has two specific ways that he can deal with this Pokemon, in personal opinion. It's going to be like a Fat Spadef Miltank or a Lugia, either of which do not appreciate a Toxic at all, especially over time, then taking Spatial Rends and things like that. The rest of the team really does not appreciate our stabs at all, which is great. And our great natural bulk means we can really just live a hit from anything on this 
this team. There's not much that's okoing us besides like a Dragalge Draco Meteor. Other than that, we're gonna chew one of everything, pretty much from everything, unless we're weakened um, significantly, or it's like a banded high jump kick from Cinderace, which again, could be a possibility and something we have to be ready for. But we have Protect for that, which is obviously great. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be Palkia. Just great, big, big nuisance to his team. Spreads Toxics and clicks buttons. Uh, still does well offensively while still having a great defensive niche in this matchup. Next up, we have our Urshifu rocking out the Choice Scarf, Unseen Fist's ability, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, U-Turn, and Thunder Punch. Eevee's also got 44 HP, Max Attack, 4 Defense, 4 Speed, Death, and 204 Speed with a Jolly Nature. Eevee's wise, we're keeping Max Speed Landers, so we have Max Attack, and then the rest in our HP, plus our defenses make that uh, HP number odd for more rock switching, which really doesn't matter the most, but whatever. It's nice. It, it doesn't annoy me, which is great. Um, but this is a great win con in the end game. My opponent's only Wicked Blow, like, resist, resist is um, Brimstone, even then that doesn't appreciate taking close combat. Same thing for Keldeo, and uh, getting, having a strong stab Wicked Blow to blow through a non-multi-scale Lugia, or at least revenge it from a certain point, is gonna be really, really important. This is a great, great win con in the end game if we can find a position to set it up um, and do some work. If there's like a weird Iron Defense, uh, what do you call it? Weird Iron Defense Vikavolt. This is another way to potentially kind of, you know, break through that thing if we want to. Uh, we have Thunder Punch to catch, I guess, a Keldeo, a Lugia, a Cloyster. Like, if maybe that's the last three and we do the most damage with those, it's really that we don't need another Moose Slot and I don't anticipate needing Sucker either. Um, so we have Wicked Locals Combat, you turn Thunder Punch. But uh, yeah, pretty simple stuff. Next up, we have our physically defensive Seismitoad rocking out the Rocky Helmet. Water Absorb as its ability, Liquidation, Power Up, Toxic, and Stealth Rock. Eevee's Rise, you got 228 HP, max defense and 28 speed with a oh, impish nature? I don't remember, I always forget. Eevee's Rise, you got enough speed for creeps and then max defense. This is going to be our main pivot into things like the um, Cinderace. Um, it pivots into Landorus decently. It decently pivots into Keldia. The only issue is we don't really have much recovery, which is going to be very annoying. But we can Toxic things, we can Rocks up, um, especially if it's not a Boots, uh, what do you call it, Lugia. That's going to be really important. Or if it's not a Boots, Cinderace, which could definitely be the case if he's like Banded, because I think Banded's very good versus me, uh, because it just clicks U-turn high jump kick the whole game. Um, but with that being said, yeah, just pretty simple stuff. It also checks Stack Attack if he ends up bringing it. I don't think he'll end up bringing the Stack Attack, but if he does, there's a very, very solid check to that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be our Seismitoad. And then lastly, nope, second to lastly, we have our Entei, rocking out the Heavy Duty Boots, Pressure, uh, no, Inner Focus is its ability, Sacred Fire, Toxic, Extreme Speed, and Over. EVs wise, we got 68 HP, Max Attack, 4 Defense, 4 Special Attack, and 180 Speed with a naive, I believe, nature. EVs wise, we outspeed a Landry's Therian. We Oko an offensive cloister with overheat, which I think is really important because as you've noticed, the rest of my team, not many things really let in that cloister to set up for free. Um, and NT is no different. At least everything on my team can do enough damage to cloister to put in them potentially like an extreme speed range from Entei, which is really, really important. Um, and uh, obviously overheat's a great way of, you know, making sure that that uh, cloister doesn't set up on us and, you know, we don't have to rely on getting a burn with Sacred Fire. We're hitting Sacred Fire, them not being Lumberry, or, you know, a bunch of different things like that. So I think that's definitely very, very important. Overheat, and if it's Sash, we can pick it off with extreme speed. Toxic to catch that Lugia, our third member with Toxic. Um, it's going to be a little bit tough if we end up Sacred Fire burning it, to be completely honest, but at least then it'll never have multi-scale which I think is really, really important. Uh, and my opponent just doesn't appreciate switching into Sacred Fire in general. It is uh, very, very solid offensively this game. And, uh, you know, serves a little bit of a defensive niche in the sense that it can take a uh, Cinderace hit match length off big Sacred Fire. It's probably going to turn to a fighting type or something like that. I can pick things off with extreme speed. Uh, just be a general nuisance spread toxic. Which is all I palky at this game. And then lastly, we have our Life Orb Gengar. Uh, Cursed Body is its ability, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, Sludge Wave, and Destiny Bond. We got Max Speed, Max Special Attack, and Force Spread Death with Timid Nature. Uh, max Max, nothing too crazy about the EV spread. want to outspeed, or at least speed high, a Max Speed Lugia, uh, which is obviously really nice. And then with a Life Orb, this Pokemon can just kind of claim a KO every time. Uh, it Sludge Wave into like a Focus Blast or like nuke a, uh, most mill tanks, depending on if he's Chopper or not. And if he is Chopper, he's not getting that passive left use recovery. We're forcing milk drinks and we're in a good position regardless. Uh, other than that, we can throw off very free Shadow Balls, uh, very free Sludge Waves. His Sludge Wave, or his Shadow Ball Resist is the Grim Snarl um, outside of that milk tank. So again, if we can catch those things with a, with a Sludge Wave, we're in a pretty good position for this, uh, for this game. But yeah, that's going to be the squad. I'll be right back at the battle. Let's see what he ended up going with. Presumably everything's scary. Um, we played Charge Bug last week, we played Vikavolt this week, but this time I brought Defog, because I don't like webs. Um, we have a Vikavolt, we have a Keldeo, probably Resolute, 
but we'll see. I guess it kind of, doesn't it tell me right there? Yeah, it should be resolute. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter the team color. Uh, we have Landers, Therian, we have Grimmsnarl, we got Alugia, and we have a Sinrachi. Now, off rip. Oh, there's um, something I did notice, is that there is no uh, Cloyster, which is good, because Cloyster really scared me. Um, we're going to lead off with Entei, I think. Reason being, is it leads off well versus like a Cinderace. Cinderace will not Oko with anything, and I can kind of just click Sacred Fire. It also leads well versus the webs. Um, I'm not very worried about a lead Keldeo. Lead Landorus, I at least force him into an Earthquake, in my opinion. Um, and he won't be able to Intimidate drop me, so he could be scared of that. Which is great. And, um... Grimmsnarl is another mod that I'll just Sacred Fire. And if Lugia leads, I will Toxic it. Bada bing, bada boom! So, yeah, good luck, up fun to Pat Mac. Hopefully we can snag a dub here. Um... It's definitely very doable. Last food that I'm eating during the video. I'm sorry, I always do this. I'm really bad about eating food while I uh, record, but also I'm not getting paid. So if you guys want to start paying me to not eat on camera, that, that'll be what we do. Give me to a thousand. I'll stop eating fucking food and eat my dinner while I play draft the games. I'll wait till after like a normal person. All right, let's see it. What do we have leading? We have Colt. 45 and two zigzags? That's not what I wanted to see. Okay. Does my seismitoad have a way of breaking this thing sub? We are power. Okay. That's perfect. So that's what we want to see here, baby. We're going to go right out into seismitoes. And, um, kind of be able to deal with them that way. So. Unfortunately, because seismitoad was the other thing I kind of wanted to lead. But it's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna get my rocks this turn. Um, as rocks are very nice. I'm chipping things down. We're gonna see us get a poisoned Ruski. If this is subtoxic, it's a little annoying, but we'll just have to play around it correctly with our power turns. And we have a lot of power ups, actually. Power up is a pretty high move, like uh, PP wise. I, I thought it was eight for some reason, but it's not. Pod is gonna come out. That's a Vika Volt. Rockaruskis are going to go up. I might need to defog those, so maybe Toxic was my play, but I wanted to cover him going for a Protect and at least get something out of the turn. Um, so I think that's important, at least right now. And right here, we are going to go Entei. We're going to get in as he probably sets up webs or Energy Balls. I don't think he volts. If he volts, it's a very aggressive play. But, you know, more, more to him if he does. I don't think it's uh, definitely his best interest because I don't think he doesn't have switch to Entei, you know? So... Sticky web, yeah, but we can defog those away. I got a boots, Coco. I got Coco with the boots. And from here, I think I'm actually gonna toxic. I don't think you just give me this Pokemon. I don't think that makes much sense. Yeah, give me that Lugia. I would love a toxic. Well, that's fine too. To be completely honest, that's fine. We're gonna toxic. We are going to connect, which is great. Perfect. Um, so this is his main switch in. That's good. Um, obviously Lugia is something that we want to get toxic instead of burned, but we'll do what we can with it. Now, part of me wants to go hard into my Shmapu Coco, because I don't think you Skull. I think you Secret Sword, if anything. So we'll see. I don't think you Skull. Let's see what we can do. Lexus Surge is gonna pop. He's gonna Secret Sword. Perfect. I didn't think a Skull would come out there. And what this is gonna do is part of me actually really wants a U turn. Because I don't want to land that Vikable, because that Vikable just does it again. Like, it just clicks the button again. I'm just gonna U turn. I feel like I can defog versus literally everything. Um, We're just gonna U turn. Vikable's gonna come out. Yeah. No shot am I doing that. Um, so we'll see if he's boots. Is he got the booties on? He does got the booties on, so that's good to know. Um. That's heavy duty boots. And I think from here we just go ante. We just go ante. And <clears throat> I think from this position, 
I just drop a mean sacred fire. I just drop a mean sacred fire. He's gonna withdraw. This is free chip on something though. If it's Keldeo, heck yeah. Yeah, I'll take this. Um, that's super nice for me. He's gonna take rocks. He's gonna take poison. He's also gonna take a big old sacred fire to the dome. Which again, very nice. I will take it. Um, and then from this position, I think I go back out in Toad. If you want a Sacred Sword again, that's fine. I can see a Toxic or a Water move coming out this time. We're making all the reads today. Sorry, it was just a crumb. It was just a crumb. Not even, and we're not eating. Stop. Stop one. Push away your chicken. Push away your chicken. Let's see. We get caught in a stinky web. Flip turn. Let's go! So he's Toxic, Secret Sword, Flip turn. Flip turn Ruskies. Um, and I think from here I just Toxic because I would like uh, a Toxic off on that bike. Volt, putting on a timer. I would very much so like that. He's just gonna give it to me. Okay. I regret everything. Uh, we're just gonna get that Toxic off that doesn't hit anything. Perfect. This thing's gonna get nice and chipped. Um, Electric is gonna disappear. Does he want to keep this as a sack? I don't know. Like, I could liquidation here. But I also could realistically just... Like, toxic. Because it hits something if he switched out and saved this, and he'll die to poison. Just gonna Secret Sword. And I didn't want to go Coco because I don't have a Roost on it. But he'll die to Toxic here. So Entei's looking very nice. Entei just clicks a goddamn button right now. Entei does his thing. Um, which is great. <sighs> Whatever comes in here is gonna be either be able to revenge us or force us out to keep this as a sack. Um, if Cinderace comes in, I just stay in. If Cinderace comes in, I just stay in. I think I actually Toxic in case he's like a weird bulk upset. Because I don't want to deal with a bulk upset. <laughs> in the slightest. And I can go on to Coco immediately after. Actually, if he's bulk up, I'm fine. Because Coco can come out and, uh, just gleam for free. So I'll definitely take that. Kit Kat. Lando Riss. Yeah. I think here I just like... Ooh. Do I want a liquidation? Or I want to get a toxic one with this guy. I'm going to toxic. I'm going to get one off. If he elects to get up his rocks or something. But I have defog Coco. So again, I'm not super worried about it. It sucks kind of losing my rocks. But at the same time, I don't want to deal with webs. And uh, I, I want my uh, Scarf Urshifu food to be faster than things like a fast Lugia and things like that. So I think that's definitely very important. Perfect. That's Chip. That is awesome. And then he has to come in and take Roxas Link. Mwah. Amazing. I love when people click U-turn. When they don't need to click U-turn because I literally do not have a ground resist. <laughs> I suppose it would have let in my dude free, but like, whatever. He goes Vikavolt. I get a big, big hit off uh, with my Entei. Like a big, big hit off. Storm. You do be storming, though. Uh huh? I think what I'm gonna do is go Palkia. I really want this Palkia here. Yeah. We got triple. I just realized we have Toxic on so many mods this week. No, but we're going to pressure this thing, which is nice as well. So if he does elect to go for like an arrow blast or something like that, we're in a good position. Let's go. Toxic Palkia, baby. Come on, just hit this. Just hit this. <laughs> hit this. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Smoke at the Okay, so he's going to take a little bit of chip right there. And how we're going to deal with this, I don't really know. Let's go ahead and click. Protect. I'm going to click protect once. 
He could call mine again, but now that he's toxic, I don't know if that's in his best interest. I really don't know if it's in his best interest to call uh, call mine again. Unless he's rest, and if he's rest, I'm boned. <laughs> like, super boned. But that'd be a crazy set. And obviously, I know he can rest in my terrain. Um, because he's flying and stuff like that, but... That would be an interesting set. We are going to protect Aruskis. He does call mine again. Are you fucking... I know it, dude. I swear to God, if you're rest, I'm in a bad position. <laughs> I'm in a bad position. I think I lose if you're rest, dude. I didn't think you double call mine, too. Um, I think I make the hard Coco play. I think I make the hard Coco play. I need to defog away this stuff so I can get my Urshfu in. I don't think I'll die to a plus two hit. Arrow blast. Okay. Ooh, that's a cool animation. So he's going to take more and more and more chip, which is nice. Uh, he'll be very low after this next turn. I'm just going to defog. I'm just going to defog. I know he's boots too, because he didn't take rocks chip. So that's also good to know. Boots. You shown. Calm mind. Arrow blast. Cover. Earth power. Interesting. So then he's definitely not rest. In the slightest. I refuse to believe it. Absolutely refuse to believe that he's rest. Um, and then from this position, we just go into Urshifu. I also claim a kill with the Moose Sludge Wave at this point. If we can ever position it. Like, ever. Oh, freak. I freaking forgot that I had a custom try. I keep doing that. Uh, we're just going to Wicked Blow, though. Ka -pa -pow! And we are Scarfed. Now, if he wants to save this, that's fine. A little annoying, but it's fine. It can still be a little bit of a threat, but I could also see him sacking this off. You also, if you're a sucker, maybe. I don't know. Close combat is also a very free end game too. If I can take this thing down, so he has to be careful of what he sacks. That's what. That's definitely fair though. So we're gonna knock out the Lugia. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We reveal that we're Scarfed, so out comes Grimmsnarl. Which is, again, annoying, but it's all good. Now, next up, I am assuming Vikeville comes out. And that's a little bit unfortunate. It's all good. Yuri's cousin. Fresh. Okay. You're like some AV shit, then. You're some AV type B, um, which means I'm going to go hard into my Entei and I'm going to click Sacred Fire. Risk free. Dark Pulse. Special. Again, good to know. Just going to click Sacred Fire though. Got no reason not to. Absolutely no reason not to. I think I claim a KO here. He's going to stay in, which is, again, really good. Oh, my goodness. That did a lot of damage. Oh, that was a crit. I'm sorry, bro. You're on Dark Pulse. Also crit me. So good for crit. Uh, we're going to get chipped the hell down. Um, and we just E-speed here. Yeah, we just E-speed here. Now, if Cinderace comes out, I think I just e-speed it again. Landers comes out. If he's not Scarf, I kill him with Sacred Fire, and I feel like that's more important information to know than getting, um, what do you call it, e-speed damage off, personally. So we will see. Yeah. Ronaldo comes out, and I'm just going to click e-speed. Get some damage off. I'm 
Give me U turn. He is Libero, obviously. <laughs> now, whatever he goes into. Hmm. Maybe should I have saved that for the Vika Vault? No, I think it's fine. I really do think it's fine. We have Gengar against Vika Vault. Because oh, I want to see if this kills. Oh, uh, let's see. Vika Vault is going to come out. I think that is my best play. Yeah. I think it is definitely my best play to go out into Gengar. We're gonna sludge wave. You wanna try and prevent Weds? If he wants to attack us, he can attack us. If not, whatever. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. We're gonna sludge wave. Uh, depending on his bulk, we can kill from here. Fortunately, he is pretty darn bulky. Don't webs. Good play. On Fort. Um, so webs do stay up. And webs are just the bane of my fucking existence lately, apparently. And I don't know if we can win now. We will see. I don't know if we can win. I will keep it a buck. Um, Though I think we can. I think we can. We're just going to click Sludge Wave again. Ah, I should click Shadow Ball. I should click Shadow Ball. That was a dumb play. It's all good, though. Don't get punished. Um, I, like, there's no way he makes the play into Landers, because that's an absolute throw. Like, he literally just loses the game. But, this will be a close end game. Because it really depends on what he goes into to revenge me. If he goes to Sinrace, one, he risks a miss. <laughs> which is super bomb. Two. What is two? Yeah, he just... So, if he kills me with this... Um... I think, what's my best play to click? It's just Sludge Wave, I think, yeah. In case he, like, suckers for some reason, I don't kill him because of it. Again, wouldn't be the smartest play in the world, but... I'd rather cover it. I guess Sucker would just kill me anyways. Miss! Damn! But from this position... Now, I don't know if he's choice. If he's choice, that really sucks for him. Like, like, really, really sucks for him. <laughs> but I'm going to go into my Palkia. I'm going to click Surf. Reason being is if he is choice locked, he has to switch out here. Obviously. Um, right, we'll see what we can do, though. But pressure's going to pop. We're just going to Surf. Uh, and we just click that two times. And hopefully win the game. If he's choice, that really sucked. And I think he probably should have gone Landers. Oh, he does low kick. That's fine, though. We'll live this. He's not banded. So it's fine. Howie. This you hurt him. Okay. Palkia to a Landorus. We're pretty bulky on our Palkia. So let's see. His Landorus has not shown a boosting item. It showed U-turn. At 109 HP, I'm out of range. 109. Intimidate's gonna pop. Where are we at? Even after a protect, I don't think it's worth. And if he's like set up for some reason, I'm just gonna surf. Um, I'm just gonna surf. Let's see. Hold on, Bulkia. Fortunately, we are gonna go down. That's a crit. Okay. Um, depending on his spread, that might have mattered, but we'll see. But from this position, we just wicked blow and hope for the best. We are Scarf, so we'll be faster at least. Um, unless he's Scarf. And if he's Scarf... Fuck, is he in range? Maybe I need to protect. Oh, I don't think he's in range if he's, if he's offensive. I have to hope he's not Scarf. Fuck, man. Oh my gosh. Fuck. He is Scarf. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on. Give me this kill. I don't know if he's in range. It's a roll. It's a roll. It's a roll. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Fuck. Oh, ah. I should have protected. Um, Crit sucked, but whatever. I should have protected. I was scared that he wasn't Scarf, and I got punished for it. So that's my bad. GG's to Pat Mac. We're fucking two and two. And I'm very tilted about it. I'm very tilted. Oh, well. God. Okay. We're going to lose. Um, GG's to Pat Mac. Definitely go check out the description below. Again, that's just me being frustrated myself. Um, losing two games where 
I just, I don't know, man. Just not playing well. Um, I guess it happens. Oh, that's fucking frustrating. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new here, drop a sub. We'll see you next time. Later.